never get a check for more money than you were expecting. Dozens of New Mexico governments got millions of extra tax dollars last year, courtesy of the state. But this was no cash windfall. It was a multi-million dollar mistake and one the state blames on a computer glitch. News 13's Chris McKee explains on special assignment. It's a lesson in computers and money management the state hopes it never has to deal with again. We made an error. A computer error or glitch that could have derailed dozens of New Mexico's city and village governments. I was thinking, please don't spend the money. I hope you didn't spend the money. The problem all stems from the taxes the state collects and distributes each month. Buy something in New Mexico and chances are you're getting taxed. We're really dependent on the gross receipts tax. That GRT or sales tax you see on your receipts keeps the state's city, county and village governments running. Right. Bill Fulginetti deals with many of those local governments as executive director of the New Mexico Municipal League. That's our single largest source of revenue. 75 percent of municipal income comes from gross receipts tax. And it's the New Mexico Tax and Revenue Department's job to dole out that GRT money. Each month, roughly 120 to 140 million in gross receipts get split up and deposited into various New Mexico government's bank accounts. Last October, the state upgraded the computer system responsible for calculating those payouts. But there was an issue. In that upgrade, uh, there was a glitch. Um, there was an accounting error in that process. That glitch? caused tax payout errors statewide. Nearly every single city, county, and village government in New Mexico was given the wrong amount of money. The total that was done in error, meaning both the positives and negatives, was about $13.8 million. For example, in November, the city of Albuquerque got an extra $4.9 million, or 15% more than usual. Capitan was paid an extra $32,000, or 77% more than usual. And the biggest overpayment? The small village of San Juan in eastern New Mexico. They got an extra $57,000, 424% more than what they were supposed to get. In all, 100 different New Mexico governments were overpaid. Within days, Tax and Rev knew something was wrong. We moved as quickly as possible to, to, to remedy the situation. While the state says the error was fixed within two weeks, all that overpaid GRT money was still out there, and Tax and Rev was coming to collect. The hope is, is that the local governments in those instances don't spend that money. Any extra money cities spend, even by accident, the state can remove from their next tax revenue checks. For small governments with slim reserves, any overspending can bring huge budget issues. I think of what that funds, the police service, fire, you know, all, the, all the services that are provided in that city. So a major disruption in that will, will change the service levels to those citizens. By December, Tax and Rev sent out dozens of these letters to local governments statewide explaining the error and asking for their money back. We fully understand that this is a volatile tax that is, is being distributed to these local governments and that there are huge potential impacts. The department just held a summit with city, county and village officials to talk about how to spot and avoid tax overpayment problems. We asked Tax and Revenue if any New Mexico governments are still paying back the overpayment, but they haven't answered that question yet. I would say 90 some percent of them took care of it the right way. For Fulginetti, the tax revenue take back is a reminder of how reliant the state's governments are on a single tax. I've dealt with every secretary since 1978, and we've all had this issue for, for that long. I would just like it to be solved. On special assignment, Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. We have posted a full chart of how much each local government was overpaid on krqe.com and in our news app.